Hey everybody, welcome back to my Outland playthrough for the PS3. We accessed a new area now in the in the underworld. Basically, we, we because we uh, obtained the power of darkness or, or spirit of darkness, as it is officially called. Oh, I have to use bombs for this. The ground pound thing doesn't work. So there is a little bit of a puzzle element, but it's not too bad, trust me. Yeah, of course, I have to use bombs for everything, even for accessing potential secrets. But again, it's not too terrible. You have to hit the, the, the bombs once. You can get hit by the bombs, but you can actually use the bombs very smartly in several ways. Monies. Oh! I haven't seen these guys in a while. Remember, you have to switch to the opposite color in order to kill the enemies of a certain color. If the enemy is made of lights, you have to use dark spirit. And if the enemy is made of darkness, you have to use the light spirit. Simple as that. Yep, gotta use more bombs. Those big things give you the monies, the big monies, so it's really worth it. You have a limited amount of time for you to push the bombs before they explode. But it's enough, more than enough in some cases. Okay, at least one of them gave me the big monies. I cannot be guessing the type of enemy, so the color of the enemy, so I have very little time to react and switch colors, depending. No! Yeah, I survived the, the bullets because I am protected against those. I think touching the enemies directly, physically, regardless of the color, still get, gets you hit, so it's not that simple. It's not just a matter of killing or the opposite color, but also avoid the attacks from the same color of enemies. Or the enemies of the same color, that's what I meant to say. So basically the level is about this right now, being getting used to the idea of switching. Again, I am not a big fan of the idea... Oh, see? At least the bullets are just red. They're not switching colors. That would be actually harder. And that was a bad idea because if you touch those guys directly, you're still gonna get the hit. Even if you do a super powerful attack, so... Gotta be more careful. Yep. As I was saying before, or the last part at least, every time you're about to die, you have only one heart left. The very next enemy you kill is going to give you a heart, so... So casual! Oh my god, this game is so bad! It's for casuals. Oh, this was for a secret. Well, I guess it's worth it. I got a switch, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm switching because I'm worried about the bullets, not, not about anything else. I just should attack the enemies when the bullets of the same color I have are coming this way. Hmm, kind of a long, long path for secrets only. That's okay, it wasn't too hard. I'm taking this guy, why not? Just for the monies. Smart drop right there. I wonder if I can swing any even faster, my attack, I mean. Wow! The heart fucking flew away. Ah, it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, there is a safe spot. There is a safe spot, yeah. No so much time to get yourself positioned in a proper way, but anyways. Nice. Keeping some distance will do good to you. Teleport. I, I've seen a lot of these, and I don't have that ability yet. Same thing with the launch pad. So two of the abilities I should be gaining eventually. I need a switch. Yeah, but I, I can go down. And this is the proper color, obviously. Massive killing, motherfucker. I didn't get hit. Nice. I did it on time. 
I was worried about taking a hit from the guy from behind. Ooh. <laughs> you like that shit, don't you? Oh, I beat the level. Nice. The Buried Empire. Damn bullet patterns, damn. I'm ignoring... Oh, I thought there was an enemy, never mind. But this enemy cannot be ignored. It gives you usually many coins. Quick switching required. No! Ah, that was too close. Wait, I didn't get hit. I thought it did. Alright, this looks a little bit complex. I mean, in terms of uh, how much shit you can find. Alright. I guess you gotta go down. I know there are some things up there, probably I'm gonna miss one secret or two. Not really important at the moment. Uh, Alright, I see there is something else. Probably, yeah, the big monies, clearly. And the hearts, in case of it's necessary. <laughs> wow, that quick switching! I was a little confused at first, but yeah, I actually made it. You can also destroy those things, but I think they don't give you actually... Yeah, just a s single coin, even enemies give you more. But I'm still destroying them before going up there, which is where I have to be going right now. You get them this... I, I, I don't use this... I mean, I, I think it's not called ground pound, but you know, the, you get the idea. This attack to the floor, uh, or air attack, whatever. Uh, I don't use it as much. Same thing with the uppercut. Well, the uppercut, it's basically for the enemies that are above you. Yeah, it's called uppercut. It's the swinging that you do upwards with this sword of yours. I think this is the enemy you can't kill. The ones with spikes are the ones you can't. No, these ones, even if you have the opposite color, then will just get paralyzed, but don't. they won't die. Alright. That's okay. They're not too bad. Yeah, th that's for sliding. I, I noticed that much. 35,000. That could be enough for some upgrade. If there is any other. It's definitely a good help. Another slide area? No. Looks weird. Looks different, but... I don't see anything else. That I can do over there. Ah, it's switching. But I want to kill this guy. And those guys with shields, you can only attack them from behind. Wow. Whoa. You know what? Fuck it. I don't know what I was expecting. I had full health, I think. Well, now there is no bullets around, so you're fucking dead. Yeah, he didn't even give me a fucking heart. Just three miserable coins. For hits. I have to get familiar with how many hits and how often this guy could attack. Told you, next enemy, when I have only one heart left, gives you another heart. And usually the next item thing or the next enemy also gives you a second heart even. So the game doesn't abandon you in that sense. No, I have to avoid it. It's either the first strike against that guy that goes towards you or nothing. It sounds like a woman screaming when you kill that guy. Oh, right now you have to actually switch to the opposite uh, color, so the platform will stay there. It's kind of an interesting mechanic. Just waiting for you to turn around because I can't attack you by the front. Who the fuck is that? He's like wondering, what the fuck is that? Oops, I'm dead, basically. Oh, that's the enemy that doesn't die, I forgot. Let me get this two first. Hey, two hearts. It's kind of uncommon, isn't it? 
Oh, I remember having trouble in this area when I played it on my own time, but it's as simple as making the platform move and stay below it. So you are protected. I was like trying to go above the platform and switching, 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 switching spirits. And it usually resulted in death. Pathetic. Anyway, I mean, you learn from mistakes, right? It will be terrible if you don't. I think I'm getting a new ability right now. Let's see what it is. Okay, smite. It's like a heart attack. That yellow thing, yeah, basically it's like a bomb sort of attack in a shoot em up, for example, if you want a comparison. Crystal of energy, that, that allows you to refill that special attack, which is more powerful, obviously. Yeah, it's literally a special attack, that's what it says. And you striving with that, one hit, and they fucking die. And the way of recharging that is by killing more enemies, in the normal way, of course. I'm sure you can upgrade that at the point of getting more of those yellow dots. So that's an that's the upgrade in terms of attack that I was referring to at some point. Oops. Oh, that's another of the secrets. That's why this path is kind of long. Even if I knew I had to go up. Alright, this one is going to be tough because I have to be switching and dealing with the platforms and the bullets at the same time. Unless I decide to ride the platforms when the corresponding color comes, but I'm doing the complete opposite. Okay, that works. But that's precisely the enemy you cannot kill, so... Eh. I think I meant to do this, but yeah, I got the secret. I meant to keep going up. Well, that's fine, I guess. Oh well, yeah, we passed already the 10 minute mark a while ago. So I am stopping the video here, guys. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Outland. Thank you.